Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Rangajana and you tuned in to Thursday, the 7th of September 2023's Rhapsody Reading. Today's title is The Depth of His Love. While you're still at that, please remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Make sure that you like and share these videos with your loved ones and do not hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is Psalm 136 verse 1 with, with the AMPC Bible version which reads as follows. O oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Our Heavenly Father is so gracious and kind. The depth of his love is infinite, absolutely unsearchable. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's Romans 5 verse 8. His love is for everybody, including the worst criminals. No one is too evil or wicked for him to love. No wonder the Apostle Paul, by the Spirit, had to pray for the church to be able to grasp, empowered to discover the great magnitude of the boundless and amazing love of the Father. How deeply intimate, far-reaching, enduring, and inclusive His love is. Endless love beyond measurement that transcends our understanding. We see the scripture reference in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 18. Think about a man like King Nebuchadnezzar, for example. Many only remember him as a devilish figure or an evil ruler because of what we read of him in 2 Kings chapter 24 verse 11 to 16. But not many observe God's enduring love and mercy for him after he repented and the incredible authority God granted him over the nations as revealed in Daniel chapter 4. After he had lived like a beast of the field for seven years, God, in his love and mercy, returned him to the palace and everyone received him. God preserved the throne for him. Read of his beautiful testimony in Daniel 4 verse 34 to 36. Another astonishing example is that of Manasseh. Manasseh's reign was marked by wickedness and rebellion against God. But when he repented of his sins, God showed him mercy. Then we come to King Ahab. The Bible says he did evil in the sight of God above all the other kings before him. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel that were before him. We see the scripture reference in 1 Kings chapter 16, verse 30 to 33. But as soon as Ahab repented, God spoke to Elijah, saying, Seest thou how Ahab, Ahab humbleth himself before me? Because he humbleth himself before me, I will not bring the evil in these days. That's First Kings chapter 21, verse 29. Sometimes when we think about people who have committed grave wrongs, we wonder why God tolerated them. It's the depth of his love. He is full of compassion. If God would show such grace to Nebuchadnezzar, Ahab and Manasseh, I don't see anyone in this world whom he wouldn't love. God didn't send Jesus to die for us because we were living right. He did it while we were yet sinners. The scripture reference is Romans 5 verse 8 to 9. Praise the Lord. Let us take the prayer. Say, Holy, righteous Father, thank you for your immense love for humanity and the provision of salvation through Jesus Christ. This love compels me to preach the gospel to the lost 
and turn them from sin unto righteousness, and from the power of Satan unto God. In Jesus' name, amen. For further studies, we read John 3 verse 16, Romans 5 verse 8, and Ephesians 2 verse 4 to verse 5. If you're on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 3 and chapter 7 verse 1 and Proverbs chapter 20 to chapter 21. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read Luke 21 verse 20 to 28 and 1 Samuel chapter 26, all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read the message titled, Saviors and Champions. This is Information with Tabiso. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a beautiful day.